Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss the following question which says that A card from a pack of 52 cards is lost. From the remaining cards of the pack, two cards are drawn and are found to be both diamonds. Find the probability of the lost card being a diamond. A question says that a card is lost from a pack of 52 cards and from the remaining cards of the pack, two cards are drawn and are found to be both diamonds and we need to find the probability of the lost card being a diamond card. As we have already studied, if an event A occurs, given that an event B has already occurred, Then, the conditional probability of A when B has already occurred is given by Probability of event A when event B has already occurred is equal to probability of A intersection B upon probability of B where probability of B is non-zero. So here we will be using Bayes theorem which states that if E1 E2 and so on up to En is a set of N mutually exclusive and collectively exhaustive events and if A be any event such that probability of event A is not equal to 0 then probability of event EI when event A has already occurred is equal to Probability of event EI into probability of event A when event EI has already occurred upon summation of probability of event EJ into probability of event A when event EJ has already occurred where J goes from 1 to N. Also, a set of events P1 E2 and so on up to En are said to be mutually exclusive if EI intersection EJ is empty for all i and j where i is not equal to j and a set of events e1 e2 and so on up to en are said to be collectively exhaustive if E1 union E2 union and so on up to union EN is equal to the sample space S with this key idea, we are going to proceed with the solution. As we are given in the question that a card from a pack of 52 cards is lost, 
let E1 be the event that the lost card is diamond and E2 be the event that the lost card is not diamond And we know that in a pack of 52 cards, there are 13 diamonds, 13 spades, 13 hearts and 13 clubs. So, out of the 52 cards, there are 13 diamond cards. And 39 are other cards. So, probability of event E1 that the lost card is diamond is given by 13 upon 52 as out of 52 cards, 13 are diamond cards and is given by 1 by 4. Also, probability of event E2 that the lost card is not diamond is given by 39 upon 52 as out of 52 cards there are 39 other cards which are not diamond cards and it is given by 3 by 4 now let A be an event of drawing two diamond cards from the remaining cards now as event E1 is that the lost card is diamond therefore probability of event A when E1 has already occurred is equal to probability of drawing two diamond cards given that the lost card is diamond is equal to 12C2 upon 51C2 as out of 13 diamond cards if the lost card is diamond then the two cards are drawn from the remaining 12 diamond cards now as we know that NCR is given by N factorial upon R factorial into N minus R factorial therefore by using this formula in 12C2 where n is equal to 12 and r is equal to 2 we get 12 factorial upon 2 factorial into 12 minus 2 factorial that is 10 factorial whole upon similarly we can use the same formula in 51C2 where n is equal to 51 and r is equal to 2 and we get 51 factorial upon 2 factorial into 51 minus 2 factorial that is 49 factorial which is equal to 12 factorial which can be written as 12 into 11 into 10 factorial upon 2 factorial which is equal to 2 into 1 that is 2 into 10 factorial whole upon 51 factorial which can be written as 51 
इंटू फिफ्टी इंटू फोर्टी नाइन फैक्टोरियल अपॉन टू फैक्टोरियल दैट इज टू इंटू वन विच इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू फोर्टी नाइन फैक्टोरियल सो वी गेट ट्वेल्व इंटू इलेवन अपॉन फिफ्टी वन इंटू फिफ्टी विच इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व इंटू इलेवन इज हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी टू अपॉन फिफ्टी वन इंटू फिफ्टी इज इक्वल टू टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सो प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ इवेंट ए वेन इवेंट ई वन हैज ऑलरेडी अकर्ड इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी टू अपॉन टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सिमिलरली Probability of event A, when event E2 has already occurred, is equal to probability of drawing two diamond cards, given that the lost card is not diamond. As the lost card is not diamond, so the two cards are drawn from 13 diamond cards. So we have the probability equal to 13 C2 upon 51 C2. Now by using this formula, we have n is equal to 13 and r is equal to 2. So 13 C2 can be written as 13 factorial by 2 factorial. Into 13 minus 2 factorial, that is 11 factorial. Similarly, in 51 C2, by using this formula, we have n is equal to 51 and r is equal to 2. 51 C2 is equal to 51 factorial upon 2 factorial into 51 minus 2 factorial, that is 49 factorial. Now, 13 factorial can be written as 13 into 12 into 11 factorial upon 2 factorial into 11 factorial whole upon 51 factorial can be written as 51 into 50 into 49 factorial upon 2 factorial into 49 factorial, which is equal to. Thirteen into twelve upon fifty-one into fifty, which is equal to hundred and fifty-six upon two thousand five hundred and fifty. Therefore, probability of event A when event E two has already occurred is equal to hundred and fifty-six upon two thousand five hundred and fifty. And now we have to find the probability of the lost card being a diamond. So, probability of the lost card being a diamond. Provided two diamond cards are drawn. Is equal to probability of E1 when A has already occurred. Hence, by using this theorem, we have two events E1 and E2 such that E1 and E2 are mutually exclusive. Since E1 intersection E2 is empty and collectively exhaustive. As E1 union E2 constitutes the sample space S, and we have another event A of drawing two diamond cards from the remaining cards, and we know that probability of event A is not equal to zero. So we can write probability of E1 
when event A has already occurred is equal to probability of E1 into probability of event A when E1 has already occurred whole upon probability of E1 into probability of event A when E1 has already occurred plus probability of E2 into probability of event A when E2 has already occurred and we know that probability of E1 is given by 1 by 4 probability of E2 is given by 3 by 4 probability of event A when E1 has already occurred is equal to 132 upon 2550 and probability of event A when E2 has already occurred is equal to 156 upon 2550 on substituting these values we have probability of E1 that is 1 by 4 into probability of event A when E1 has already occurred that is 132 upon 2550 whole upon probability of E1 that is 1 by 4 into probability of event A when E1 has already occurred that is 132 upon 2550 plus probability of E2 that is 3 by 4 into probability of event A when E2 has already occurred which is given by 156 upon 2550 and further solving we get thirty three upon two thousand five hundred and fifty whole upon thirty three plus thirty nine into three that is hundred and seventeen upon two thousand five hundred and fifty which is equal to thirty three upon hundred and fifty that is eleven upon fifty so the probability of the last card being a diamond is given by 11 by 50 which is our required answer this completes our session hope you enjoyed this session